Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you how you can run the Linux command on any Linux machine. So here I am going to use Ubuntu. So before moving on to the Ubuntu, I will just open this cheat sheet. Here you can see there are a lot of commands and this is very good image where they have mentioned all the commands. So you can see here we have specific system wise command, hardware wise command, network wise command, file permissions related commands and many more. So I am not going to show you all the commands but I will give you an idea how you can execute this command on the Ubuntu machine. So let's open the Ubuntu machine. If you still didn't install this Ubuntu machine you can browse my videos where I have already published one video how to install Ubuntu on Windows platform and also how you can install Ubuntu on standalone machine. So if you want to execute any commands before that you need to understand the file system directory structure. So if you don't know then I have also published one video to understand how you can navigate into the different different places using the commands. So first of all you need to open the terminal. So you can open the terminal from here as well. You can just type terminal and you will get the terminal and you can simply press alt control T. So now I am getting the terminal. If you want to increase the font use shift control plus plus. I think this font is enough. So now so first I will execute few commands for example uname hyphen a this will give me the system information so this is Linux Ubuntu Linux kernel is 5.15 and it is having Ubuntu 20.04 and this is the release date and if you have you will simply type this uname hyphen r it will just return the Linux kernel version. So similarly, if you want to know how much processes are running into a system, so you can simply write ps-e. It will display all the processes which are running into your system. And here you can kill the process as well. So for example, I am here going to write one hello world code which is already there. is not there let me type it and I am going to print something in while one going to compile and you all know this code is going to print hello world in while one so you can see now I'm opening the new terminal and again increasing the font so you can just simply type ps hyphen e this will give you the all the process IDs so here you can see it is the hello and it is having PID 3060 so I can simply go and kill type kill hyphen kill 3060 and you can see from this window I have terminated this code so this is the way to play with the processes now I will show you a few more commands like how to create the directory you can simply use mkdi at test it will create the directory and if you want to make sure whether this directory has been created or not you can simply do ls so ls will give you all the information so for example I have created test directory so it is there if you want to go into the desktop go to the desktop you need to write like this so guys uh, before watching this video please watch the Linux directory file system explanation because that is required
now if i know where i am so you can simply type pwd so this is my current location now if you want to create a cop any file again i will create one directory test one i will go to test one and i will create one file using touch command touch is used for create the file guys do not confuse in file and directory directory can have multiple files so i am here creating files not directory test.txt and you can see the file is, is created i can simply if you, i want to write anything in this file so for writing we can use echo so i am writing echo hello where in test.txt if you want to read whatever i have written you can use cat command so these all are the all are the few examples which you can use to understand the commands which you want to execute i will show you few hardware related commands for example if you want to see what happens is with your devices when when it start you can use simply d message so d message will return all the output you can see my system has started uh, i think and run till 147 seconds and uh, here you can see what happens is from 0 seconds so here you will get all the kernel system logs whatever has been executed when you press the power button it will go till 0 as of now it will not help you and you will not understand the importance of uh, this logs but when you will work and learn the device driver that time this will help a lot then if you want to read your system information you can simply type cat proc cpu info it will give you your all the cpu information same if you want to understand and want to know your memory information you can type mem info so here it will give you the memory information then if you want to know how much the disk space is available you can simply type df-h so it will give you all the partition information and the space which is available so i have allocated 39 40 gb and uh, used is 14 gb and available is 24 gb if you want to know the size of one single file then you can simply type du-sh sorry du-sh so it will give you the size of a single file so guys i will recommend you to just perform all these commands and if you face any issue just comment on the video or you can directly reach to me so i will help you to understand all the commands hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching